Hi everyone, this is Debbie Horovich from Social Sparkle and Shine and I'm coming to you tonight at the very end of November as you can see from my on-screen mustache. Um, what we're doing tonight for the free, uh, this is, is, is a free class that Social Sparkle and Shine holds on occasion whenever we see a need. Um, I was asked by a contact on LinkedIn a few weeks ago if I would explain in more detail how I use Google Plus Hangouts on Air to create television programming that helps my business, Social Sparkle and Shine, grow. And um, I've had some really great experiences on Hangouts over the last few months as I've been creating my own pr television programming using Google Plus Hangouts. And my program is called um, Sparkle SOS. It's hashtag Sparkle SOS. And we usually get together about once a month, around the middle of the month, using Google Plus Hangouts on Air. The recent um, topics that have been really popular are um, for book authors and publishers. And one of the things that we noticed was just that there was a real appetite for uh, discussions online and for people to have a place where they can get together and really hang out and ask each other questions and um, get expert and answers and advice on the things that they're working on and certainly there's a lot of people who are working on writing books I am myself um, at the very beginning stages of writing my own social media uh, book and so I like to use uh, the new social media platforms uh, when I have the opportunity when I see a need for them um, so what I want to go through, and there is uh, a blog post tonight, if you wanted to join us live uh, on the Hangout, you still can. You can come join us at any time. The way that you do that is you find Social Sparkle and Shine on Google Plus with a very basic profile is all that it takes. It shouldn't take more than two minutes for you to set that up if you're new to Google Plus. Um, just a very basic profile. Find the page of Social Sparkle and Shine and then either follow it or circle it. Um, I'm not always sure about the the terminology that they show on your screen now that I there's most of the pages that I follow I follow. Um, so I don't see that option anymore and uh, so I would love it if more people would join us um, but I do want to also introduce to you um, my guest and uh, assistant tonight uh, or in social media intern uh, with the Sparkle Agency, who is Patricia Wignall, and uh, Patricia is uh, is is a student at Ryerson University, who I met in the last couple of months, and uh, she's been actually really helping me out, uh, provide great resources for the readers at Social Sparkle and Shine and she's uh, just in the last week finished cleaning up that whole Sparkle free resource library where I've got a whole library full of white papers and ebooks and um, she's reorganized that for me so it's much much easier for you now to find uh, all of the free resources that I found over the last couple of years on the web that I want to make sure are being shared with you so that you don't need to spend money unnecessarily if not spending money is what your goal is. Um, okay so uh, Patricia I'm wondering have I taken you off of mute? Can I Nope, uh, you are still muted. <laughs> can you unmute yourself? I uh, know I just muted you. So can you unmute yourself? Is that possible? Let's see. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So, um, Patricia, I'm sorry that was such a long and <laughs> ongoing introduction, but maybe you can just say a few words. Um, about where people can find you and what you'll be doing tonight. Sure, no problem. So I'm Patricia Wignall and um, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, it's Patricia underscore Wignall, spelled P-A-T-R-Y-C-J-A-W-Y-G-N-A-L. And tonight I'm going to be moderating the Hangout. I'll be posting any links, I'll be talking about the blog, and anything that Debbie says that will be 
probably important that you want to take note of. All of that will be available to you under the hangout hangouts class hashtag. So anything, also any questions that you have, I'll be able to forward them to, on to Debbie. So we look forward to this tonight. Awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. Uh, okay. Now, my other question was, did you unmute yourself that time? Yes. Right now I did. You did. Okay. Yeah. So um, Patricia is actually helping me out from uh, a student lounge, I believe, at Ryerson University. And so there's occasionally some background noise. So I may uh, continue to mute her occasionally to block out the background noise. Um, and uh, and let's I'd say let's just get straight into exploring the wonderful world of Google Plus Hangouts on Air. Um, there are some really great uh, programming that exists on Google Plus Hangouts on Air. Um, if you've never seen it before, um, Hangouts are the video panel. That Google Plus makes available to people. And uh, the Hangouts on Air option itself, what it does for you is it allows you to broadcast live to a feed that you can embed into a blog post, which I've done just a few minutes before we started broadcasting tonight. You can embed this feed into the, into the broadcast. and have as many people as you want viewing you live. You could have a hundred thousand people viewing your show as your live recording. And so this is why I always like to do, and a hundred thousand people is just a random number that I picked. It's a random large number. Um, but you can always have people watching your show live and interacting with you um, either on a tweet chat, which I do simultaneously. The tweet chat for tonight is Hangouts class. And, uh, or you can have people send you, um, send you Facebook messages, which I occasionally have people send me Facebook notes while I'm on air um, asking questions. Or you can have up to 10 people in total live on the Hangout and participating. So it's a great forum for creating panel of expert type of discussions, um, inviting in uh, your friends or people who have expertise or people who you want to showcase. Um, what I found for my business itself, Social Sparkle and Shine, what I do is I create social media content and I help other businesses um, plan and execute on their social media strategies. And so I found that I actually, um, using the Google Plus Hangouts on Air gives me a great way to introduce myself and my capabilities to the people who join me on air. So um, I hope still that Lamar Morgan, uh, who, who asked for this class specifically, will be able to join us. Sorry, I was just turning around to take a look at my cat who's going a little bit crazy in my apartment. <laughs> and um, so hopefully Lamar will be able to join us. And um, what was I going to say? Okay, so uh, yeah, Google Plus is, is great to create your own television programming. If you've ever thought of yourself as a talk show host, um, this is the great way to do it. And the reason why I like it so much is because I was really struggling to create video content and have it be available on YouTube. What happened, uh, I, I recorded a 20 minute video of Corey Vidal, who is a YouTube superstar and YouTube partner. I'd recorded this video of him speaking about how he became a YouTube partner and what his journey was like becoming a YouTube superstar and really he earns all of his money and apparently he has employed like 50 of his friends now um, and all they do is make YouTube videos all the time and that's how they earn their living. Um, I had recorded this 20 minute video and I wanted to post it to YouTube because I thought, well, this should be pretty easy and of course it will draw in all sorts of people who want to find out how to be YouTube superstars themselves. And it took me, it took me probably six weeks before I was able to post it. And when I finally did, the reason why it took so long was because it kept on crashing my computer. 
Um, my computer has a tendency to overheat and crash if I'm trying to process a video that takes longer than maybe 30 minutes to upload. Um, this video in the end took 24 hours total to upload and to process and it was a video from my phone, a 20 minute video that I had made on my iPhone and it's a brand new iPhone 4 uh, well, in the spring, brand new iPhone 4, and uh, it took 24 hours. I really couldn't believe it. I was I was shocked, and I thought, you know, there's got to be something better. Uh, my friend uh, Tim McDonald is the community manager at Huffington Post Live, which is at Huff Po. Uh, I think Huff Post Live, and uh, he had. He had started doing community manager hangouts, CMGR hangouts, every Friday afternoon at 2 p.m. And I saw that he was he was archiving those videos. He was doing a one-hour hangout that would be live that you could watch and interact with and doing a simultaneous tweet chat. And I thought, that's a really great idea. I have to give this a try. What I like so much about Google Plus Hangouts is that the minute you are done the broadcast, the minute you end the broadcast, your video is right there and it's live and available on YouTube. So even if people just miss you by a few minutes and they come in late and they start watching at the beginning of the video, a half hour into your recording, they can still continue to watch you forever. Um, and the videos that you create, they're really great content that can be repurposed in a variety of formats. So tonight, Patricia is tweeting out a variety of things that I'm saying. Hopefully, maybe she sent a few tweets already. Um, I don't know, but uh, she seems to be nodding, so <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> and uh, so she's, she's tweeting out little nuggets, and... I will be creating a blog post which creates additional SEO. So everything that we say can be documented. I also like to have my Google Plus Hangouts, especially when we do them for book authors and publishers. Um, I like to have someone transcribe the entire discussion uh, so that it can be pulled into four or five different blog posts. And it's really great SEO content, um, video plus text wording. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start to share my screen. I'm going to share the Google Plus Hangouts screen uh, with everyone so that you can see what I'm looking at. Woo! That is not a very nice image. I didn't realize it was going to do that. How do I turn this off? <laughs> So this is the beauty of it. Uh, let me see. Oh, no, I muted Patricia. Maybe Patricia can unmute herself. I feel like I'm talking to myself, so I'll deal with background noise. Unmuted. There you go. There I am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you can join me in this conversation now. Sure. Uh, so let's see. How do I do this without it creating that effect? Select a window from this list. You want to start presenting in this meeting, Google Plus Hangouts. Okay. I'm going to try this again. It's going to create the same effect. It's like being in a really deep bathroom with two mirrors on two sides. Crazy. <laughs> so, but you can see my mouse uh, up at the top of the screen. So, what I want to point out is uh, on Google Plus. Actually, let me go back here before. Let me share something different with you. Let's try something different. I'm going to share my whole desktop instead of just the screen. Okay, so now you can see into my Facebook, which is lovely. <laughs> Here is the Google Plus event. And, uh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, what happens when you're on Google Plus? And actions. It's so not easy. 
I love I love doing a tutorial that I'm not as prepared for as I would like to be. Okay, so I'm logging into Google Plus now, and you can see this on my this is my Google Plus, um, and I have the option to create a Hangout. I think this is it. Add video, add event, add a link, add photo. Why am I not seeing create? Uh, here it is. Start a Hangout. So I have one Hangout invitation. I'm going to hang out with myself. I'll see if uh, I get on again. I agree. Oh, I'm currently already in Hangout. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so what you want to do when you want to start a Hangout is you, you come you just come down to this hangout invitations and it will always have the option to start a hangout and invite your friends and what you need to do is make sure that you're choosing where you're going to be hosting the hangout you want to host the hangout from uh, from you want to host the hangout from your business page there's a couple of funny things that happens on Google Plus. On business pages or on any pages on Google Plus for any organization, you're not able to invite people first. Only uh, follow someone from a page if they have followed you first. Or you can only circle someone from your page if they have followed you first. Now, if it's the personal profile that you're hosting the Hangout from, you can still make it a Hangout on air, which is what gets uh, broadcast live and archived to YouTube. Uh, if you have a Hangout, just a Google Plus Hangout, only the people who you invite can join you on the Hangout, and your discussion is not archived. Right, so you have to begin the broadcast on Google Plus Hangouts on air, and uh, I'll just share my screen again to let you see what that looks like. In the Google Plus Hangouts window, uh, what happens is up at the top here, now this button says end broadcast, but at the beginning, the button that I'm circling, at the beginning before you start it, uh, Patricia and I were on the Hangout for about 20 minutes before I actually started the broadcast. And then it gives you a countdown of about 10 seconds. Um, and from that countdown, then you have the opportunity... Wow. <laughs> I keep on falling into this camera effect. Cameraman, let's see what we can do. Control the visibility of other participants. No. YouTube. Watch YouTube videos to get in Google effects. Silly hats. More apps. Okay. This is so frustrating. I really thought that this would work really well, but it's not uh, it's not working as well as I'd hoped. So we'll just uh, power through it anyways. And uh, I'll be able to record it again another time, hopefully when Lamar will be able to join us. Um, so what happens here is this red button says begin broadcast. When you select the Google Plus Hangouts on air, you're required to give your Hangout a name. Uh, here is the short URL up at the top. Uh, the short URL for the video player. So you can take this URL. I'm just going to copy it. And then I'm going to go back to my Facebook page. So we can find the event page. Here it is. And I'm going to see, let's see if we can just embed the live video. Post. Let's see if that goes through. Okay, so at least the link has been posted now. So um, there may be a few people watching us online live, and the way that you would tell that is close this. Oh, one viewer. So one person is watching us live. I don't know if that means that that one person is Patricia. Um, I don't think so, though. 
I think that uh, it's one person watching us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so screen share. Um, someone is Facebook. Uh, no. <laughs> I believe um, Jenny Green is watching us. Oh, wow. That's, and is that on Twitter that you're finding yep. that? She really likes her mustache. <laughs> oh, Jenny, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so great. I'm glad we have at least one viewer. Um, engage Jenny, please, on Twitter and, and let her know that if she has any questions to um, tweet them and you will interrupt me and let me know. Um, okay, so I'm going to go back to the screen share again. As annoying as that is and as um, as much as it really isn't working in the way that I had hoped because I really hoped that I would just be able to share the screen without creating this weird mirror effect. Um, but what I want to do is you can see up at the top here since I closed the embed, you can always get back to the embed code. Uh, which is a really long code that I put into the blog post just a few minutes before we started the broadcast. You can see how many viewers you have live right here. So that would be Jenny Green. Um, now when you're beginning your Google Plus Hangouts on air, it does require you to give the Hangout a name. So I use the exact same name so that people would be able to find it. This name, Creating TV Shows Using Google Plus Hangouts, Dash free class um, is is not a very sexy name, but it works. So uh, I'm just going to mute Patricia just so at least we stay on the mirror effect. Still not a very great <laughs> great effect, but it's working. Um, so let's see. Um, Okay, so we are on air, and this red button here says on air, just like you would see on anything else. So you have the option to mute your microphone, the option to turn the camera off. Let me see if I can turn the camera off, if that works. My camera is now off, but I'm still showing my screen, so that's not working. Let me see. My camera come back on? No. Hmm. Camera is off. Turn camera on. Camera, come on. It doesn't say my camera is on, so I don't really trust it. And then, oh, here's my camera again. <laughs> and then you have your settings, which was on the far right, that little gear icon. Um, so Google requires access to your camera, your microphone, and your speakers. So in order to have a good Google Plus, uh, um, you can always participate in a Hangout if you don't have a camera um, just by with speakers or even if you don't have a speaker you can still participate with no speaker and no camera. What will happen is that Google Plus will use your picture. If it's a Google Plus Hangouts on air, which I discovered during the very first Google Plus Hangout that I had, the one where um, I was broadcasting from my computer, my notebook computer at work, which doesn't actually have a computer embedded, it, a camera embedded in it. Um, what I discovered is when you're talking, the screen is nothing but white. And uh, the little, the smaller icon down at the bottom of the screen also is only white. So myself as the host, I was nothing but a white box during my very first hangout. It was a absolute, it was a lot like tonight. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, it, uh, it, it's there every single time it's a lot of learning. So we, you have your options here um, that you can go through. You can always play it. Uh, how fast is your connection, the voice. Report quality statistics, save settings, and cancel changes. Um, I think I will hit cancel changes. Now, my camera is off again, which is very interesting. Turn camera on. 
hopefully my camera will come back on, but it is not doing so right away. Mute microphone. Um, Patricia, you can hear me, right? Yeah. Okay. Can you unmute yourself? There we go. Okay. So, is it possible? Do you have a bunch of options down the left hand screen? Do you see the same sort of thing that yes. I see on the left hand? Yep. Okay. And you have a screen share button? Yes, I do. Okay. So, what I want to do now, this option, it's funny because uh, it always says turn camera off, and I click it, my camera doesn't come back on. <laughs> It's just me. <laughs> yeah, it really, it just is you. Oh. Hmm. And we had two viewers for just one second. Uh, it might be uh, Lamar as well trying to get on. Turn camera off. You invited people to join the Hangout. Well, let's go back and invite some more people while I have a minute. Okay, so you're creating the Hangout. It gives you the option to invite people as you're going along. So I'm just going to invite the 23 people who are following. We certainly have not all um, RSVP'd for this event. Um, and most people will not even be on Google Plus unless they have a specific reason to be on so regularly. Um, Camera off. So weird because my camera isn't on. It must be in the settings. Yeah. There. So you can see me in the little screen, but you can't see me in the big screen. My camera is on. Save. I hit save settings and it didn't. Do you have trouble with the help? <laughs> I'm thinking of that well on a live hangout. Um, my camera works when I'm in the settings, and it was working when we came in. There's nothing for me to click here. It's the only camera available. You can hear me, so that's not an issue. Let's see what happens when we click the help link. Oh, it opens up the Google Plus help thing. Settings. This doesn't seem to be a lot of help. <laughs> If your camera is properly enabled, you should see video from it on the right hand side, but my camera is working right now. It just won't work. It's so perplexing. I may have to be I, I, we may have to make a quick change. Uh, Google Plus effects. YouTube. Okay, so I wonder. I wonder if. I wonder. I'm looking for a solution to the challenge of my camera not working. On a live Google Plus video, it's on air. Okay, so let's go here. This is probably going to create an echo. Probably not a solution. This is the beginning. This is probably going to create an echo. This is the beginning. This is probably going to create an echo. That did not work. <laughs> so playing an embedded video while you're live is not a solution. To cameras not working. Now the goodness, the good thing in this story. So what I what I'd like you to do, Patricia, if you can, is share your screen, sure. and um, and that way maybe hmm, that's your screen share, or is that my screen share? That's right, still that's my screen. Share. So I'm going to end my screen share. Here I am. Yep. That was and the problem. Would you like me to share my Google Hangout screen share? Uh, yes. Sure. Let's see what happens when someone shares their Google Plus Hangouts. Okay, so here 
is Patricia in her screen. Um, so there we go. That, that is uh, your screen shared. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not fully wide. I get it. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, because I have a few things open. <laughs> right. So, and but I'm not sharing my screen. But that doesn't quite work. Let's there we go. You're wider, but I still can't. I'm not sharing my screen. Well, what I am doing, though, is I'm recording. And I can see the recording. But what doesn't show up on the recording is the icons along the side, unless you're sharing your screen. So right now, they would show up. Okay, so thank you for widening that. No problem. Uh, <laughs> so when you log on to your Google Plus Hangouts on Air, one of the important things to know is that there is the chat feature on the right-hand side. Uh, you may have to open up the chat. You may have to click on that thing on uh, icon on the left in order to open it up. And then the chat you can use to just talk. Thank you for saying hello. <laughs> uh, I will say hello back. Um, so the chat you can use to talk to people on the Hangout, but nobody else sees the chat. So it is totally quiet. Um, I frequently, the etiquette of uh, Google Plus Hangouts is that you mute yourself if you're typing because most of the time people type really, really loud and you can hear all sorts of stuff and it's really noisy. So if you're doing a tweet chat at the same time, you want to mute yourself and very frequently I'll forget to mute myself, I'll be tweeting away, and I'll get muted. The other thing that happens is, um, and now I've sort of shut this feature off, and I need to figure out how to shut it back on. Got it great again. <laughs> I love being live on television. <laughs> Getting that I'm recording myself and my face with this mo on it. <laughs> awesome. I love the mo. I think next year I'm going to wear a mo every day. <laughs> I really do. And uh, just so that everyone can see, oops, doesn't look too good this way. I went out on Friday night and I had mo's put on my thumbnails uh, when I went and got my manicure with my friend. Uh, my most sister, Karen, Karen Court, um, who is, I think she may just be about the number one most sister fundraiser in Canada at this point. So hopefully, because I've been really pathetic at my fundraising, even though I give it a try every once in a while. So now if you, um, if you say something, I think I have this function at the moment, the screen share, <sighs> chat, screen share. So I've got this function. We're going to go back into the back into the tunnel. <laughs> it's like a wormhole, a Google Plus wormhole. Okay, so what happens is this is the screen where we're broadcasting the big main thing. Um, if you click on someone's image and you're hosting the event, and this might also, I'm going to ask Patricia to test this in a, in a second for me. If you click on someone's image, what happens is it turns off the default on Google Plus that Google Plus will pick up on the speakers. So if you're typing or there's background noise, you pop up in the main screen. Now I clicked on your image and it went blue. Oh, now, and now I turned it off. So um, you turn it on and off by doing that, exactly that, um, by clicking on the image at the lower bottom. So I'm going to click on it and it will turn off the default, even though I'm keeping even though I keep on speaking and Patricia's not making any noise, it's showing her in the main camera screen. And then if I click her image again, I love how I'm learning this, it goes back to the regular default. Okay, and that's, it is a really important thing to remember because I frequently, if I'm trying to mute someone, 
sometimes I'll accidentally click closer to their picture um, or I do it to myself especially when I'm when I'm moderating and hosting a tweet chat oh, I'll just keep Patricia up there she looks way better than the wormhole <laughs> <laughs> um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll accidentally frequently click on my own picture and then I feel like I'm dominating the hangout and I don't know why because I've spent all this time inviting great guests to the hangout trying to coordinate them I never start my hangouts right on time it always takes at least an extra 15 minutes to try and get people onto the hangout to get them to find it um, so I'm now at this point I'm gonna stop my screen share and I'm gonna ask Patricia if she can try and change that default from her end if you are a viewer or a participant in the Google Plus hangout I wanna know how much um, control do you have over the screen so that if you're hosting a hangout of your own you can be prepared okay so I'm going to keep on talking and we're going to see what happens. So this is, that's a screen share. Um, if you stop the screen share and come back to the regular picture, yeah. And then if you click on my photo or click on your photo at the bottom or the video at the bottom, does it do anything? Do you get that little blue screen around? Yep. It's a blue screen around you and it shows you. And if I click the blue screen, if I click myself, then the blue box is around my picture, and then I become the center of the hangout. Okay, so um, click me. Yep. Put me in the center. Yes. Okay, so there I'm in the center. You clicked me. I'm in the center, and there's a blue box around me. Yep. Now, if you start talking, don't you go back? No. At least... We're testing it. <laughs> no. It won't go back to me if I speak. It'll stay on you. So it's still on you now? Now it is, yes. Or it's still on me now, you mean? Well, it goes back and forth depending on who I click on. It doesn't right. affect by the voice. But if I click on you and I'm speaking which I'm speaking right now you're in the center you're in the center of the screen I'll share my screen here Google Plus Hangouts share selected window so there you are yeah, yeah. right so you're in the middle even though I'm talking because mm -hmm. I took the default off if I click your image again then it goes back to my camera which is the wormhole which is not very good looking but if you click it it changes what you see but it doesn't change the recording because I'm the one who's broadcasting I'm the one who's recording it yep uh, so we figured out an interesting thing there I'm happy about that that um, so you do want to keep in mind whoever is hosting the hangout has control over what is being recorded and that broadcast um, but even if you're just a participant in the hangout you always have the option uh, so I'll shut off the screen share again. You always have the option then of um, participating in the 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 hangout, and who you want to focus on on the main screen is up to you by clicking on their picture. You can also mute individual people, um, and they can unmute themselves, which is good to know. But it is um, it's still hangout etiquette um, two things one is to mute yourself if you're typing and the second is to wear earphones or wear earbuds uh, if you ever find that there's a an echo um, I think for some reason my computer is really great in that way and I've never had a problem with echo on Google Plus Hangouts on this computer um, although when I do uh, use Skype on this computer there is always a problem with hang with echoes so you just have to try things out and give it a shot um, okay so I'm gonna go back to the screen share for a minute and we're gonna focus on the apps and what the options are around the side of the hangout now my screen let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger 
and a little bit more clear. Okay, so is it really out of focus in the center or is it not out of focus at all? No, you can still see what it says. Okay. Okay, so uh, you have all of your options down the left-hand side, and you can minimize them and just go down to the icons by pressing the bars. The expand apps will expand the apps. Cameraman gives you control over visibility the same way that um, the same way cameraman it oh so now it's brought it up the app on the right hand side for the cameraman the cameraman button when someone joins they should be visible or when someone joins they should be hidden and muted uh, and you can choose individuals to hide and mute because sometimes people will get onto your hangout that you accidentally invited or that you didn't mean to invite so uh, I'm going to turn that one off and then you can, of course, watch YouTube videos together, and uh, I'm not actually going to put you through that, because uh, the only video that comes to mind is not is a video that is just been way overplayed already, and I think we all know what video it is. <laughs> Um, and then I do like Google Effects. It's kind of funny. You get all sorts of, you get sound effects, but you also get visual effects like a mustache or eyebrows or horns. Um, and so, Patricia, if you can go through and, and try some of those and talk us through what you're doing as well. Sure. Um, I've got it on my screen share. And, uh, there's some of the sound effects. Did you hear that? The clapping? I definitely heard clapping. Oh, look at me. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. And as, as I was discussing with someone in New York City yesterday um, from uh, a developer from Tabble Dabble, uh, the, oh, and that is... My little lot. hat. Yes. <laughs> So that's the Google effects, which is on the left-hand side, and then it brings up the app on the right-hand side. What I did was I clicked the randomize, and uh, I'm just going to click it again, and we'll see what comes up. Oh, now I'm a dog with a goatee. Uh, I think I'm going to have to get rid of this randomize because it is just too freaky. But the thing is that it follows you around the screen. Not very quickly, but it does follow you. Oh, I love the glasses and the hat. <laughs> Let's see what this does. Okay, so we got to get rid of this. We got to get rid of that. Oh, my Google! I'm not a Google ninja. <laughs> I'm looking for a mustache, another mustache, because I already have a mustache on. Um, my makeup mustache. I think this is a mustache. There we go. There's my mustache. Awesome. I have a bunch of them. Uh, so they've got a goatee and they've got mustaches. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Facial hair. Um, I will be doing a Movember hangout with the other Mo Sistas. Uh, and there are, um, I think, two of them in Canada and perhaps one in Australia. Um, and then, ah, it's not my birthday, so get rid of that. <laughs> Sound effects, um, yeah, so donate to most Movember. <laughs> and uh, if you wanted to donate to me, I would love it. I would appreciate it. Jenny, I know you're still listening, so I'm going to ask you specifically, please donate to my Movember. Um, even $20 would be greatly appreciated, and you can find me at uh, HTTP colon slash slash bit bit dot ly slash mo sista Debbie or no my 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 Movember uh, donation page is sparkle it's bitly slash sparkle Movember I think. Okay, so um, I'm going to go back to 
my own mustache, which I like. Um, so we talked about this, and here is Google Drive, which I really like accessing my Google Drive. Uh, if you know me, if you've blogged with me at all, I use Google Drive quite often. Google Drives, Google Docs has encountered a service error. Um, let's see. Let's try this. So I'll give you a little preview of Google Docs uh, while Patricia goes and grabs the short link for our free Sparkle Public Resource Library. So this is screen share. You are seeing my screen. And I'm going to go into my Google Docs, Google Groups. Well, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen this yet. Wow. Google is updating pretty quickly. So this is my Google Drive, and I do save just about everything onto Google um, Google Drive. It's all secure. You can only access it with your own password when you log into Google. As you'll see, um, I stay logged into Google so with my Gmail account. So when I search Google, it knows it's me searching. It actually does save my searches, and I'm okay with that. But it also gives me my Google Plus notifications. It gives me access to my Google Drive, which is actually your drive uh, on Google is really, really large. Um, so you can store all sorts of items. So uh, this is actually my blog and content files. And you can see the titles of a few blogs here. Um, that I've recently blogged about. Uh, and I create all of my blog posts on Google Drive first. And the reason why I do this is because it allows me to collect all sorts of links and images and to get my thoughts out in a in an uh, environment that is really not very distracting. Because to blog on your actual um, blog system be really distracting because you've got widgets on the left hand side and widgets on the right hand side. Um, so I like to blog just on a regular doc. And the other good thing about it is that I can walk away. My Google Drive updates every few seconds. Every time you make a change, it automatically updates. You do need your internet access, but it saves everything for you. So even in the occurrence of a power outage, Everything has been saved right up to the last little change. Um, and the other thing is that you can then access your Google Drives. You can access your blog posts or your ideas. And this is where I uh, quickly wrote out this blog post that I posted up a few minutes before we went on air tonight. And I wrote it up in Google Docs. And then what I do is I just literally copy and paste Every change you make is automatically saved. I literally copy and paste, uh, even including my spelling errors, into my blog uh, content management system, which is on WordPress. Copy and paste images and all, and it all goes in there. And then I edit it from there. So uh, I use Google Drive. Now I'm going to give you a quick uh, look through and just want to check really quickly. Um, do you have the the custom short link for the um, for the public resource library, Patricia? Yes, I do, and okay. I just tweeted it as well. Oh, okay, great. Because I was just looking at the chat. I can put it into your chat. There you go. I was looking at tweet chat, <laughs> which oh, is, okay. it's good either way. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I don't need to put in the hashtag. So as I've mentioned, I like to run simultaneous tweet chats when I'm doing these hangouts. So it really ups my stress levels, but it makes it really good. So what we have here in the Sparkle Public Resource Library, which Patricia has just tweeted out the link. Now, you can create in Google Drive, and all of this is more search engine friendly. It's more search engine Google juice for your 
Google products um, and for your blog posts and it creates community around your business so what I do is I share all of the great white papers that I find and ebooks um, and uh, what what I used to do was just upload it to one folder which was my public library of ebooks and I've got all of my contact information here in the name so that anyone who comes through even if they come through a short link um, that I'm actually going to tweet out right now as an example. Even if they come through the short link, drive my phone number. Okay, so I'm tweeting this out. It's not, uh, I forgot to add the hashtag, but if you just look at sparkle underscore agent, <laughs> what I'm talking about, or any of my other Twitter, that's the link to the free public resource library, and it's just, it's not the same custom resource, the same custom link. Um, this background noise. Okay, I'm muting Patricia, uh, and then we'll go back to my screen really quickly, just because her background noise was getting a little bit loud and distracting. So we'll go through this really quickly. So what I asked Patricia to do, and this is the spelling of her name here, so she, you can find her on Twitter, is I asked her to take all of the documents that I was just putting into this regular old public library, which is a public document, and you can see, you can share it. And when you look at it, it's a public document that I created. I actually created a public folder. Uh, and anything that I put into it, it goes there. Um, and I can give anybody else access to either view it or edit it, uh, which I gave Patricia access to edit it. And what I asked her to do was create various folders so that anyone else, we could promote the various categories. Um, so we have categories about your website. We've got categories about YouTube and Twitter and Facebook and blogging and Google Plus and Pinterest. And this is a really popular one because next Wednesday night at 8 p.m. we will be having another Hangout, but it will not be a Hangout on Hangouts, it will be a Hangout on Pinterest. Um, and so I've got a lot of work to do before then <laughs> to make sure that I'm ready for it. And um, But I did want everyone to know who's on the Hangout with us tonight that um, that this public library of ebooks is there for you all the time. I'm dropping new files into it and into, um, into the folder that says new this month. I'm dropping new files in almost every single day. Uh, Google Docs has encountered an error. Okay, so I'm back on the screen. Oh, I love seeing myself. <laughs> So if you click on the bottom one that says add apps, um, you may be seeing this on your screen. If not, uh, you have the opportunity to scroll through various effects and apps that you can add. There is one Hangout Toolbox, I think. Third volume control anonymous soundboard. No, Google Gear project. I'm looking for one particular app that people use. Google Effects, silly hats, and more. No, that people use on their Hangouts. And what it does is it puts a name. It puts a name across the bottom third of your screen. So I'm looking for it. I think uh, Patricia may be looking for it as well. Uh, yeah, she's nodding. So Patricia is looking for it. And she's chatted something at me, which is the short link um, to the library. Let's hopefully it will come through. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> And it always looks different every time I look at it from a different link. Um, okay, so let's see. View more apps. 
add apps, view more apps. I'm looking for that app. And there goes my mustache. Oi. I love doing Hangouts. Thank you, Google, for creating Google Plus Hangouts. Okay, so um, Patricia, you can unmute yourself. Um, okay, so here's Patricia. So we've we've just got about five minutes left. Has anyone uh, come through with any questions tonight on the Twitter chat, or were you just kind of tweeting out? I was tweeting out, but no one actually asked a question as well. So. Okay. Um, do you want to ask Jenny specifically if she has any questions? Um, Jenny unfortunately said that she had to leave us because her kittens keep dividing her attention. <laughs> but she will. <laughs> she will watch the video later. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I'm glad. Jenny was able to join us for a little bit. So um, anyone who has any questions about Google Plus Hangouts on air, um, I actually, I know that it doesn't necessarily seem like I know what I'm doing on this particular Hangout, but it is, it's a really great experience. Um, the beauty is I do know, and I've done a number of Hangouts that have gone quite a bit better than this one did tonight. Um, what I do know is that it is so easy. I'm so looking forward in five minutes when we end the broadcast and when we get off to going back to my blog post, clicking play, and watching the broadcast. It's already there. It's already on my YouTube. And I can collect viewers. I can uh, edit that video into little clips. And if people ask me questions about Google Plus Hangouts or about any other Hangout that I've had, I can just send those video clips out to other people. So it, it is a really great way to create content uh, for free. And of course, any Google product that you're using, um, these new Google products that they're releasing, if you're someone new who's using it, um, it, 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 they can be a little bit glitchy and people do complain about that but the, the benefit of using them is that it gives you more Google juice so the more active you are on Google products the more Google rewards you in that way um, okay uh, what about you Patricia can we brainstorm just for a minute and talk about do, have you ever thought about like hosting a, a TV show or a talk show of any sort um, well like I personally I've never even knew that something like this existed to be honest until uh, I started this year at school and um, within student groups we actually did a few Google Hangouts just to get uh, some presidents to talk together and collaborate with on ideas and when I was first introduced to this I was amazed and uh, I slowly learned but the more experience you have with it the better you get at it so yeah it's awesome and I, I definitely continue using this awesome and um, do you have any specific ideas like do you think uh, in your career coming up that there might be any specific applications like I know that I, I believe correct me if I'm wrong I believe that you're studying HR yes um, right. how do you think that this could be applicable for for HR professionals well HR is a very broad um, kind of business brand right but you're doing anything from training to recruitment and selection and uh, competition all that but um, one way that you can definitely use something like this is is definitely training whether it's on air or whether it's um, broadcast messages or hangouts that you're recording and leaving people with the links for them to have access to it whenever they're at home or on um, or just like having a free time I feel like this is where technology is moving and a lot of things are becoming tech friendly and rather than sitting down in a uh, in a room setting kinda on a board on paper this is kind of a more interactive and engaging way to get people to really retain information so I feel that it's definitely going to be a, a good way to help people know what they're doing in the real world fantastic um, 
I, I also think that uh, one of the benefits of Google Plus Hangouts is that it helps people get over their fear of being on camera. True. <laughs> and, and, and it gets people more involved in conversations and in group collaboration situations, which um, I'm finding in the workplace is becoming more and more common with with so much information being created. I work for a technology company during the day and big data and business information is one of the things that we talk about all the time. Um, and groups have to collaborate from around the world and, and various time zones. And I think that Hangouts is one of those tools that will really help people do that because you do have the option to choose um, how private you keep the content. Uh, even though this is a Google Plus Hangout on air that is being broadcast live and will be on my YouTube in just a few minutes, um, I can choose afterwards to make the video on YouTube password protected so that only people who I send the password to can actually view the video. And that's a one way to monetize your videos as well. If you're doing trainings like this, you can always uh, password protect or put it onto a password protected blog post. Um, and only the people who pay the entry fee to the club or the group or uh, whatever it is that you're doing would have access to the content. So um, unfortunately things did not go quite as planned tonight as uh, they never really quite do and uh, I will just relay with you really quickly that um, a number of weeks ago I was on a three-hour webinar with Mari Smith and Mari is, is um, she, I refer to as her as the queen of social media. I've been following her content since 2007 when she was an expert on Facebook then, five years ago, nearly six years ago now. And uh, so just a few weeks ago, I was on a three hour um, webinar with her. And after about an hour, 50 minutes to an hour, her video went out. She had like 2,000 people watching from around the world on video and chatting and her video went out for about 40 minutes and um, I was actually really happy because it tells me that even when you're really accomplished things don't go as planned uh, and so you do have to just get through <sighs> get through any fear or reservations that you might have about things not going perfectly and use every opportunity to learn. So that's why I like to do these hangouts. I will be back again next week, same time. Uh, I'm thinking about doing it on Google Plus Hangouts. Uh, again, I'll probably do a test beforehand and then I might decide, worst case scenario, I might decide to change it to Vimeo. Um, but I would like to stay consistent with Google Plus Hangouts because, because of the benefits that I mentioned. Um, so I hope that you'll join us back here again next week. We do have uh, the Hangout event on Google Plus. It's also on Facebook. At the moment we have about 75 people who have RSVP for the Pinterest, using Pinterest to boost your holiday sales. Um, and that again is a free class. And uh, I just want to let you know that um, thank you everyone who has given uh, me your time tonight. I really do appreciate it. Um, I feel very honored that you would take any time at all to listen to me. Um, and to learn from me. So thank you very much. Um, and uh, I'll just pass it back to Patricia to say good night as well. Thank you very much, everybody, and I'll see you next week. Good night. Bye, everyone.